My ideal Christmas, I think I'm going to be celebrating it this year. It's uh, being at home for the holidays and celebrating it with all my friends and family. And uh, I really like the idea of laying low during the holidays because I work a lot. So the idea of getting up and traveling is kind of just an extra hassle. <laughs> so I've always been a fan for, um, for staying home for the holidays. And we're going to get our tree, and it's going to be really fun. <laughs> my favorite tradition would probably... Bradley likes to make ice sculptures I don't, with chainsaws. I don't do that. If you've so never seen it, it's amazing. I don't do that. Five seconds. <laughs> Swan. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I like to go to my aunt's house for Christmas Eve. That's one of the main traditions wow, that I do. doesn't seem anywhere near as exciting, then. <laughs> yeah. His aunt, on the other hand, with butter molds. Yeah, Eric just sits Five in his minutes. room. Five minutes. Goose. Eric, Eric just sits in his room and stares at the wall oh, really? on Christmas. I like to reflect at Christmas. <laughs> and if the color on the wall is right, like a nice green, you'd be there for hours. Sweet. Sweet. Green. Well, a Christmas day, we wake up and we have we open our gifts and we see what Santa has brought us, and then we have a big southern breakfast with. Um, grits and gravy and biscuits and eggs and we really just eat and then fall asleep again. <laughs> you know what's you know what's great are the uh, uh, are, are the gifts I get from my kids through all their through all their ages. Uh, whether it's anything handmade, the best ones are the are the things that they just find sort of random in stores that they think are uh, you know that they think are the perfect uh, presents for me. I got a, uh, I got yeah. a Scooby-Doo I I, I, that I keep in my dressing yeah. room. I got a Scooby-Doo stuffed animal from my, uh, from, my, uh, from my one daughter who was just so excited to give it to me because she figured she had scored with it and it was fantastic. <laughs> she, was, she was so excited about it that it got me really excited about it and I've had that, I've had that Scooby-Doo stuffed animal now for two years. It goes with me everywhere. It's my set yeah. piece. I, had, I got this from my sister. She gave me, like, you know those hats that have the straws on it that you put the waters or the drinks in the up waters, here? The waters, yeah, okay. The drinks. Sodas. Soda. Yeah. Yeah, so you would drink it from here. I got that, and I also got... Um, this interview just went off the rails. So it was glasses. You were talking about Scooby-Doo. It was, it was dead then. <laughs> Next on Behind the Scenes. Yeah, so it was glasses that ended up like it twirls around and it spins and it goes into your drink and then it comes up and it goes through your glasses and all that and, and I thought it was cool. Probably um, when I go to work I um, when I'm dressing up as Amy Duncan I have to take my rings off and I never want to leave my jewelry laying around my dressing room and so my husband got me this beautiful simple band that I can keep on and keep with me when I'm shooting or traveling and it, uh, we just renewed our wedding vows. And so inside of it, he had inscribed the date of our wedding and the date that we renewed our vows. So that was definitely my favorite gift. Yeah, um, my favorite gift, I, I actually got, because my birthday is a week before Christmas, so I got a guitar for my 16th birthday. Um, and that was a really exciting gift. And um, it kind of was paired up with my Christmas gift that came after. Um, I got some guitar teaching books which was awesome and that was really what helped me um, jump off and start writing songs and, and actually knowing how to work with a guitar because I never had any formal training. I just worked um, with those books to figure out what positions my hands needed to be in um, to make the guitar work and work like a charm. Well, I, I had been writing on the piano a little bit before then. Um, I think I started writing songs when I was like 13 or 14. Um, but the guitar was really helpful with helping me figure out my sound because before then um, I'd kind of been experimenting with stuff but it wasn't sounding like what I wanted it to and so the guitar set me on a good track and um, now I love writing songs on the piano too. It just, the guitar was very helpful.